What's up, everybody? It's your boy JD back again with another video. And um, yeah, man, so this one isn't gonna really be too long of a video. I just really wanted to give some thoughts that I had, some interesting tidbits, if you will. Really, it's nothing interesting about it, it's just me speculating and guessing. Cause I honestly have no knowledge on this subject whatsoever. But I've been seeing a lot of people bring this up lately on Twitter on other anime sites um you no know, apps stuff like that and i just wanted to get my thoughts on it so tower of god season two anime um if you're a webtoon reader you already know season two is the as of right now which it probably will be at least for the foreseeable future unless siu does something crazy with the current art that's going on season two of tower of god is the best arc in tower of god ever Period. Um, Hell Train arc in and of itself, as I have stated, and I, you can, I am on record stating multiple times that I feel the Hell Train arc is the one of the best arcs I have ever read in um, manga webtoons. Um, I mean, I, I so far I have stand to be corrected. I haven't read anything yet that has been better than the hell train arc as an arc not as just overall or whatever the case may be but just as a arc the hell train arc was literally one of the best arcs i have ever read and a lot of i, I know a lot of tower god fans um especially ones that's read the tell train arc they somewhat feel the same way i've seen a lot of people agree with this i've seen some people disagree but you know to each his own and their own opinion um so season two of the anime anime did great let's just get that out the way um for those who may be wondering if the anime did good did it do bad it benefited from a lot let's just say that season one benefited greatly from the pandemic um it was it came out right at the beginning so everybody had all eyes on tower of god it just was the luck of the draw they pulled a good straw and that was pretty much it flip the coin got heads um all that good stuff and a lot of people loved it a lot of people loved it it did exactly what an anime was supposed to do and that is to get people excited and that is to get people interested in the story and to go to webtoons to read and that's exactly what it did that is exactly what it did it did it flawlessly but we all know there are some people who would never read the webtoon <clears throat> they will never read the webcam no matter what no matter what you say no matter what you do they're never gonna read it because they're just they just like watching they're just anime onlys and they love being anime onlys which i understand that i get it completely because some things i'd rather just watch the anime you know you especially if you start off with something and watch an anime you just love watching anime you don't really want to watch it you'd be like ah, i'll wait I've done that kind of sound. Dead Man Wonderland, I'm still anime only. I refuse to go and read Dead Man Wonderland. I don't even know if it's finished. I don't know if it stopped halfway. I don't know what's going on. But that's just, uh, um, you know, just me. I just refuse to go read Dead Man Wonderland. Why? I don't know. I just don't. I just don't. But um, today, I actually, on my timeline, I don't know about everybody else's timeline, but I saw Tower of God trending. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Did SIU um, bring something out again? Did he make some statement? Is there some different news? And pretty much it was just people talking about season two of Tower of God. Um, <laughs> they were talking about the anime. They were talking about the webtoon. And it was just a bunch. But I saw more of animes, more than people talking about how great season two of the webtoon was. So it got me thinking. Like... Is there even a chance for season two to happen? Now, we know Webtoons have Webtoon Studios now. They're brand new studios that's going to be producing anime, movies, and a whole bunch of other content for us. But that doesn't necessarily mean Tower God is getting a season two. But it does give... <clears throat> what do we want to say? 10% chance. Let's just say 10% chance that it will happen. Now, um, I was scrolling through the internet, just looking at random stuff, nothing too big, you know, and I saw this. 
Um, I'm I'm guessing this is one of the people who worked on the anime. So they said, thank you for watching the final episode. How was the story of the end and the beginning? The story of those who have and those who do not. The original will be even more exciting from here. So please check that out as well. I hope someday this continuation can also be done with animation. Now, I'm guessing they're talking about, um, you know, season two of the anime, perhaps. But let's go ahead and um, let's just go ahead and look this up. And this, this is what was actually trending on my timeline. So a lot of people, you know, oh my God, starting season two, um, starting season two is gas, finished Tyra Guy, watched the previous one on season two, fuck Rachel. You know, everybody hates Rachel. But it will Tower of God actually get a season two? Realistically, at this point, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know. I would like it to, because I would love to see the Hell Train arc animated. But because the Hell Train arc is so long, unless they do just a continuous season with no breaks, it'll be years before we even get to see the parts that we really love. Let's just be honest. Um, I would love to see Wayne Ann and the crew. I would love to see it. Looking forward to it. But if I'm being realistic, y'all, eh, at this point, it's looking grim. It's looking very grim. And I don't really know what we as a fan base of Tower of God can actually do. What do you guys think we can do to... Get Tower of God a second anime. What do you guys think we do? Oh, baby girl Elaine. Let, let's not let's not sleep on Elaine. But what do you guys think we can do to get Tower of God a season two? Cause I don't know. I don't know. Just, just to give y'all a brief, like I've 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 done a lot. I bought merchandise. Um, you know, I've sent things out here and there, you know, lobbied for it and everything like that. Just one second, one second. Let me go get this real quick. Show you guys something. Now, okay, now that we back. So, I've actually went, one, because Tower God is my, um, right now, and probably gonna be forever until end of time unless that's how you really fucks this up tower of god is my favorite series of all time that's just me some people love naruto some people love one piece some people love bleach some people love god of high school and some people um love noblest me it's tower of god i even went out and bought the volumes i bought i got a poster up there above the tv and all this good stuff and i'm missing volume five i wasn't able to get volume five because it was sold out so gotta go get volume five and i think volume six came out as well but this is all of the first season anyway but <clears throat> i've done my best and of course i can only do so much it's not like i can just go there and put a gun to Crunchyroll or webtoons head and be like yo give me season two or die you know i can't do none of that but I do want a season two. Um, I know Dr. Bonehead, shout out to him. He he kind of maybe saw a guess and a connection of the Tower God Twitter account and how Noblest, God of High School, those Twitter accounts, they stopped. Once the anime ended, they stopped completely. Tower of God, they kept going. Um, which I thought was actually interesting. And when you look at it, he's not wrong August 15th three days ago Tower of God tweeted out something and they still tweet they've been tweeting ever since the anime ended now we can chalk this up to one just anime was so popular so they was like huh let's just keep it going or we can chalk it up to maybe there is hope Maybe there is something and it works. Might not be a Crunchyroll original this time, but it may be something going on here. It may be something to it. 
I don't know, man. Like I said, man, I've just been um, just speculating and guessing and just wondering what would a Tower God season two be like? Of course, we're starting off with the, um, you know, the workshop and all of that good stuff like that. Well, workshop isn't necessarily first. It's the um, the Prince, which I'm not going to spoil anything, um, especially if y'all don't know who the Prince is. But <laughs> the red light district, y'all, y'all know who the prince is. If you, if you read, you know exactly who the prince is. But um, yeah, man, I just really want to just kind of wrap. Really, this was a ramble. It wasn't really nothing concrete I had for you guys. I really just wanted to talk and just share my thoughts. If I think a season two of Tower of God will continue or will happen, personally, I hope so. Do I? What's the odds in it? Like I said, at this point, I'll give, I, I give it 20. I'll give it 20. I know I said 10 earlier, but I'll go ahead and give it 20. Power God is Webtoons, darling. It's, well, there's other series that's more popular on Webtoons at this current time, but let's be real. They're, Tower of God is Webtoons, darling. Just like how the beginning after is T, I mean, is Tapas and One Piece is Shueisha's. Well, technically Demon Slayer right now, but you get what I'm trying to say. So, um, it's definitely going to be interesting going forward just to see, does this Twitter account, is it actually hinting or is it actually have something to do with a season two? Maybe. Um... And yeah, or is it just a coincidence that they just like tweeting about Tower of God? Definitely let me know about that in the comment section below, people. Also, um, let's just say Tower of God was to get a season two. What studio would you guys like to do Tower of God season two? Would you like the same studio to do it? Or would you like another studio? Would you like the darling at this point in time for every anime studio mapper? Would you like Affordable, A1, um, Studio Bones, I can keep going on, so forth and so forth, Madhouse, um, you know, Studio Periot, who? Or just a brand new, built from the ground up studio from Webtoons themselves, from Webtoon Studios. Definitely let me know what studio you guys would want to do a second season of Tower of God. And do y'all think if season two of Tower of God came out and it was done correctly, because let's be honest, we can get a season two and it'd be trash. Pacing be off, art designs be off, they change the story for the worst. It can pretty much be the Promise Neverland of season twos. And we all know how Promise Neverland season two went. It was god awful. It was the worst thing ever. They honestly, they should be ashamed of themselves for how they did the Promise Neverland. That was just god awful. But anyway. Um, that's it. That's my ramble talk for the day. <laughs> but um, just wanted to get you guys thoughts. Um, let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, go ahead and sub. Um, I don't know if many of y'all actually gonna like this video because it really wasn't nothing concrete. It wasn't. It was just me rambling and just throwing my thoughts out there, just something I saw and I just wanted to speak on. But um, yeah, that's about it. And um, catch you guys next time. Peace.